On November 28, 2024, the Japanese icebreaker Shai Race departed from Yokosuka port, marking the start of Japan's 66th Antarctic observation mission. The 154-day, 21,600 nautical mile journey is emblematic of Japan's long-standing commitment to scientific research in Antarctica, while also revealing the subtle ways in which the nation integrates its geopolitical and strategic interests in the icy continent. Antarctica, a region governed by the Antarctic Treaty System, ATS, presents a unique geopolitical environment. The ATS, signed in 1959, forbids any military activity, promoting peaceful scientific research and international cooperation. Japan operates within this framework, but its actions in Antarctica reflect a more complex strategic posture. Beneath the surface of its scientific endeavors, Japan's engagement with Antarctica is shaped by its broader security concerns, particularly its rivalry with China and Russia, and its positioning in the Indo-Pacific region. Japan's Antarctic operations, including its robust scientific programs, benefit significantly from logistical support provided by the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, JMSDF. The Shai Race, a vessel of the JMSDF, serves as a key player in Japan's Antarctic missions. While its primary role is to support scientific research, the presence of a military asset in Antarctica is not without implications. The dual-use nature of the icebreaker, serving both scientific and military purposes, underscores Japan's broader strategy of asserting its presence, even in remote regions. Although Antarctica is demilitarized under the ATS, Japan's use of military resources for research purposes reflects the country's subtle assertion of influence in the region. Japan's activities in Antarctica cannot be separated from its broader geopolitical strategy in the Indo-Pacific. In recent years, China has significantly expanded its influence in both polar regions, establishing research bases and mapping resources. This expansion poses a direct challenge to Japan, which views China's actions in Antarctica not just as scientific endeavors, but as part of a broader geopolitical competition. China's ambitions in the region mirror its assertive stance in the South China Sea and the East China Sea where it has been accused of undermining international norms. For Japan, Antarctica is more than a scientific frontier, it is a strategic one. The potential for resource exploitation in the future, coupled with China's increasing presence, fuels Japan's concern that global power shifts could lead to challenges to the Antarctic governance system. This concern is compounded by Russia's militarization of the Arctic, which Japan views as indicative of potential shifts in global power dynamics that could eventually affect Antarctica. Should global tensions escalate, the Antarctic Treaty's frameworks could be at risk, and Japan is positioning itself as a key player in shaping future policies regarding the continent. Japan's commitment to scientific research in Antarctica is not merely an exercise in diplomacy or international cooperation, it also serves Japan's strategic interests. As a leader in Antarctic research, Japan has solidified its position as a key stakeholder in the ATS. Its continued scientific contributions ensure that it has a voice in any future negotiations or amendments to the treaty, particularly when it comes to issues of resource exploitation. The question of marine resources, such as krill fisheries, highlights the tension between conservation and economic interests in Antarctica. Japan's controversial whaling programs in the Southern Ocean, often framed as scientific research, further complicate its position. While the international community views these activities with skepticism, Japan's continued presence in Antarctica allows it to push the boundaries of the ATS without openly violating its terms. This balancing act is a key feature of Japan's approach, adhering to the letter of the law while subtly asserting its own interests. As climate change accelerates the melting of polar ice, the strategic importance of Antarctica is set to increase. The potential for untapped resources, including minerals and oil, becomes more apparent as ice shelves retreat. While the ATS currently prohibits resource exploitation, Japan's investments in Antarctic infrastructure and research technology signal that it is preparing for a future where these restrictions may be contested. Japan's focus on strengthening its Antarctic presence, including advanced technology for scientific and logistical operations, ensures that it is well-positioned should the rules governing the continent evolve. As the global community faces the potential for greater competition in the polar regions, Japan's preparedness reflects a recognition that Antarctica's role in global geopolitics may be shifting. Japan's strategy in Antarctica reveals a nuanced approach to global power dynamics. While it operates within the constraints of the Antarctic Treaty, its participation in scientific missions, backed by military resources, subtly asserts its presence in a region increasingly viewed through a strategic lens. As China and Russia expand their activities in polar regions, 
Japan's engagement with Antarctica becomes a critical element of its broader geopolitical and security strategies. Ultimately, Japan's Antarctic operations illustrate a delicate balance between science, diplomacy, and latent strategic interests. By strengthening its role in Antarctic governance and preparing for a future where resource exploitation may become a reality, Japan is positioning itself as a key player in shaping the future of the continent. Thank you.